So why now? <laughs> On today's episode, I'm going to share with you the schools that are starting this week, some of the schools that I got to visit last week, and why is this happening now? And why suddenly has this opportunity unlocked for so many college students today? The semester is coming. Uh, last week I felt like I was all over the place. I was in Seattle, I was in Texas, I was in Chicago, I was in New York, all of helping more places unlock the creators, uh, which has been really exciting to see. And this week, more places. It's, it's uh, awesome to see. I'm really privileged to get the chance to do this. Uh, I got a couple questions. In fact, I had, a, I had a, a call from a professor, a friend of mine at another university, asking, Eric, why is this all happening now? What has suddenly changed that we went from a world where so few college students per year were able to publish, somewhere around 30 or so per year, to now there's this new opportunity. Why now? What's changed and what's going on? And I thought it was a really great question that I, I realized maybe is something for everyone else to reckon. Today really has become a unique time in history for creators. And I want to put this all in the context broadly of what has unlocked really over the last five to seven years. And that is, is that we have democratized distribution of our content and our ideas. Now, you've seen that in places like YouTube, which has created a way for video creators to share their content much more easily. If you think back years ago, if you had video content, it was difficult to get it seen, but now that unlocks. If you think about something like podcasting, well, what has that changed? Suddenly now, podcasting has enabled people to basically create their own radio show and distribute it directly in that way. And the same thing has suddenly started to happen in books. Now today, different than maybe any other time in history, there's a lot of tools out there. In fact, just on Friday, uh, Amazon was profiled in the Wall Street Journal talking about some of the innovative things they're doing to enable people to publish. So what this has done is sort of unlocked a totally new opportunity for people to create things they love find ways to distribute them. And so that's really what's happened, is that there is innovation happening in the distribution space, and that is affecting things like books as well. So when I was asked what was changing, I realized that, in fact, what we've done is we've put the power in the hands of creators. Now, what's been neat for me to see is that there are people who can create great things, even if they are in 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. If they're given a process and a set of tools, people can create great things. But historically, they didn't have a place for those to go. If if you created a manuscript and you didn't have a place for a publisher to pick it up, well, you might be stuck. Now there's new things like new approaches to publishing, new ways to get your content out there, new ways to get a book created, and that has unlocked a huge opportunity for people today. So why now? Well, now, just like we're seeing in video, audio, and as well, print, we're seeing an entirely new generation of creators be unlocked. And that's why this is so exciting. We're at this important time in history where now when we can teach and train people how to do these things, it's great. And I've also had the opportunity this week to launch the first podcast class that I've ever gotten to do here at Georgetown. So just like I got the opportunity to teach people how to create a first draft manuscript and find a way to help them distribute that, we're starting the same thing. It's exciting. Today is actually my first day teaching it. But I think the same things are happening. How can we teach people these tools to become creators and unlock great opportunities? So excited to be traveling around again today, virtually to all these different places, helping them unlock their creator mindset. And it is an incredible time in history. And I feel privileged to be able to work with such great creators who are doing something they love and who are excited to do it. That's the power of today. That's the why now. And that's why I'm excited to help these people come unlock their creation event and, and do it in a way that lets them create some they care about. Off to more places. Thanks everyone. More places next week. Here we are. Create on everyone. <laughs>